Hello, my name is Haley Nyhard and I am a senior BFA candidate at Winthrop University. My primary mediums are painting and ceramics. However, I enjoy using a variety of materials and incorporating them into my work. In the past, I have struggled to find a connection between my painting and ceramic work. However, in my thesis, I was finally able to do that. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about my thesis work. This past year, I started examining acts of escapism and ways that I cope with stress and anxiety, emotions that are negative. Escapism is defined as a tendency to seek distraction or relief from feelings of stress and anxiety. My family is not one to talk about their emotions and problems. We did not communicate our feelings often, and when we did, it was seen as a sign of weakness. So instead of communicating and dealing with my emotions, I learned to distract myself from them or ignore them altogether. As a child, I did this by reading, drawing, and playing in the dirt. Now I do that by reading, braiding, and other creative means. Most of my acts revolve around repetitive movements. My own acts of escapism are a source of inspiration for my work. In my piece, Exuberant, I drew inspiration from two acts of escapism, one of which is coloring and the other is doodling brightly colored organic shapes and lines. I draw a lot of organic shapes, lines, and whimsical landscape as sketches. The abstract nature of my work and sketches come from my process and the idea of escapism. To escape, I need to avoid familiar surroundings and objects with emotional significance because these things draw me back to reality. So instead of portraits and still lives that create a connection to reality, I create a world of curved lines and shapes. When working, I need to be able to move and focus on the colors, textures, and the composition of the work. My process is intuitive, and when working, I try to dive in and react to what is around me. By working in an intuitive manner, I'm reacting to my environment and my initial feelings instead of sitting there and thinking about my next move, which I catch myself doing frequently, and that's when I know I need to take a break. Something else that is important to my process is moving and activating my body. I put things on the floor so I can walk around them and react to what I'm doing without constraint. I've scooped leftover paint from the floor and dripped it on top of paintings and dunked elements of my paintings directly into paint. Sometimes I find myself using my hands to create dots, strokes, or smear the paint. These same movements I use when decorating ceramic pieces. I use broad movements in my hands to add design elements to my ceramic pieces, using glazes or underglazes. I need space to let my body move freely. Usually these movements result in my arms and legs covered in paint or clay after a day of working. The need to move my body and be touching the materials I'm using goes with the idea of escapism. This way of working distracts me from negative things that are happening in my life because my body and mind are touching and reacting to what is in front of me and the material I'm using. In this piece, I did not drip or pour paint, but when painting the long rectangular piece of canvas, I put on some music and layered one color at a time reacting to each brush stroke as I went. When installing the work, I acted intuitively when it came to the placement of each flat piece, pillow, and ceramic piece. This work consists of canvas pillows stuffed with fabric and filling, flat pieces of canvas cut into organic shapes, and ceramic pieces. There is a yellow rectangular background that flows onto the floor and some of the shapes peek out of the rectangular boundary. Some of the pillows are attached to the wall, so they are removable and portable. This speaks to how my acts of escapism can be used anywhere and any time. The pillows in ceramic forms each have a flat shape that mimics each pillow in each ceramic piece. This is to emphasize how my acts of escapism usually involve a repetitive action. I chose these two materials because both the pillows and ceramic pieces look durable. However, the ceramic pieces are hard but fragile, and the pillows are more malleable and more durable. 
To create more of a connection between the pillows and ceramic elements, I coated the pillows in a clear enamel to create a semi-gloss surface to resemble the ceramic surface. The use of color is also important in this work. For most people, yellow is a happy and positive color, and I wanted to use that to set a more positive tone for this piece. The rest of the colors I mixed intuitively so I could see how they reacted to each other and what tone was created by different color pairings. Using color and shape, I created a vibrant space that allows for an escape from daily stressors. The audience is examining a space that has a playful and fun tone so they can temporarily forget about anxiety or stress. By moving around the piece and examining the color forms and reacting to the piece, they for a moment get to forget about their own sources of stress and anxiety like I did when creating this piece. The viewer gets to make their own positive associations to the colors and forms present in the work. In the end, the audience walks away having experienced a moment without stress or anxieties. My goal to create a space the viewer can be immersed in stems from my ability to input myself into alternative worlds that help me distract from my own negative feelings. Escapism is a topic that is personal for me but others have their own experiences with it and can take away what they need to from this piece. Each person has their own experiences and thought processes that will change how they view the work. Despite this, I hope everyone can look at it and experience a moment of peace, happiness, calmness, or joy, even for just a moment. Escapism is a concept that I will continue to explore in my work, and I can't wait to see how my body of work changes through this exploration. Thank you.